In other news tonight, construction for the controversial CMP transmission line corridor could start next month. That word today from the leader of the project for Avangrid, CMP's parent company, and it follows the announcement yesterday that the last major permit before construction can begin has been granted. Here's news center Maine's Don Kerrigan. The route for the corridor still hasn't been cleared, but that work could begin soon after the Army Corps of Engineers approved a permit for the New England Clean Energy Connect. We're getting ready to start construction and we're looking for the early part of December. Thorne Dickinson of Avangrid says the Army Corps is not requiring any big changes to the project because many of those have already happened. Going under the Kennebec River, reducing the corridor from 150 down to 54, using pesticides and insecticides, the wildlife travel corridors, all were major changes given whether there are voices from Mainers that, that uh, we changed as a result of the project or regulatory requirements to mitigate the impacts. With a contractor hired and workers being recruited, he says they'll soon begin building access roads to the corridor sites and installing wooden mats for logging equipment to get to work. The essence of the project is not changed, including 54 miles of new corridor between Quebec and the Forks, which is still the focus of opponents who say the Western Mountain area will suffer significant harm. I think CMP's rhetoric is it's a done deal, and they've been saying that for the last two and a half years. And in fact, CMP still needs the Department of Energy permit, dozens of municipal permits. We know that four towns have ordinances against this project. Opponents of the corridor say they are not surprised the Army Corps issued the permit. They already have a lawsuit underway challenging the Corps' process. It's one of several in their continued efforts to block the project, including the brand new petition. Sandra Howard says the group was at more than 100 polling places Tuesday and collected 23,000 signatures. It will need more than three times that number by early January to force a new vote. They want CMP to hold off on any construction until the referendum and lawsuits are settled. If CMP were to go forward with any kind of construction before all of those things were finalized, they'd be taking a huge financial risk. Thorne Dickinson admits there may be some risk, but says the company believes it will prevail and wants to get moving. We're confident that this project will continue to move forward and we're ready to start in construction in December. Meaning, he says, start working in the woods before winter. Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine. Avangrid says it plans to start actual building in the spring. And opponents are also asking the State Board of Environmental Protection to review the permit issue earlier this year by that state agency.